Hi guys, uh, so another video from the website Genie and uh, in this tutorial video we will look at the updated Elementor 3.2.3 and the text path widget that has come along with it. So we will see how we can create some unique designs with the text path widget and how you can use that to create a menu on your home page. So, uh, so the designs will look at uh, something like this. So I'll just uh, show you the finished product first and we'll also open the edit with Elementor panel. But before that guys, you need to go to the install plugin section and uh, you need to update your Elementor. So I've already done that. So you do not need a pro version for this. The free version would work just fine, but your version should be 3.2.3. And once you've updated that, uh, we'll look at the finished, uh, what we can create with this. So we can create something like this. We can create, a, uh, this, is, this is a circular text path. So it creates a seal of trust like this. So you can have something like this on your checkout page or maybe on your home page just beside a product. And you can also create a menu like this. So this is a workable menu. So currently there are no links placed, but you can just uh, place a link at the back end. And when someone you know clicks on that, he or she would be redirected to that page. So these are some things we can create there are, uh, you know other things also we can do with the text path widget so we'll look at how we can do all those things in this video okay uh, so we'll first go to the elementor uh, panel so we'll get rid of uh, you know all these things that we have placed so i'll just copy the text so that uh, you know it's easier to you know, like recreate and we'll get rid of all these things and so by the way guys i'm not going to you know like go into details about how to create an overlapping column like this because you know i already have a video that would come up on your card right now so if you want to create a overlapping column effect like this you can check out that video and uh, once you have got that so we can create overlapping column like, like this so once we have done that we have a section like this and we'll search for the text path widget so this is our text path widget and so we'll drag and drop and so for the first so we'll make the style as you know white to give a better view of it and for the content we'll just paste in the content which i just you know copied so this is again just sample text which i have created 100 percent quality guarantee free shipping you know all these kind of things so you can have so these are uh, you know depending on what kind of product or service you're selling or what kind of uh, website you intend to use it on so you can write all these things depending on that so the path type so there are a few path types which comes uh, you know inbuilt with the default uh, text path widget so there's an arc there's a wave and there's a circle a line over a spiral so you can also import a custom svg path and uh, the text would you know like uh, derive the path from there but uh, we'll look at each one of them so first we'll look at the wave so this is a wave so currently you cannot see most of the text that is because you need to go to the style section and reduce the size so you can just uh, you know like uh, change the column width and uh, increase or decrease the size by going to the style section and uh, to get a better you know to get most of the you know like letters fitted in but uh, we'll look at the other designs as well for the path we have an arc type so this is an arc and so you can again go to the style tab you can rotate the arc as you want you can increase the word spacing or decrease it you can change the starting point so all these things are changeable and then you go to the circle so this is what actually we would be using for the seal but uh, i'll show you all the others that are there so there's a line and for all the uh, you know sections all the path types so there is a option for showing the path type so we'll just uh, change the starting point a bit and we'll uh, you know, change the rotate so that you can get a better view and so you can just uh, enable the show path option so that way you can have a small line that is going just below the, so you can just you know enable the show path to see the path actually and you can change the path color as well so as you see there we have it so uh, we'll see the other option so there's an oval option which is more like a circle but just an just in the shape of an oval and you can have a spiral option as well like this and as i said you can have a custom option so we'll look at circle and uh, we'll just you know tweak the you know, options here to get a better uh, you know view of it so we'll probably make it 200 and for the rotate we'll make it uh, 
something like that and for the word spacing will probably you know, will increase uh, will will change the starting point firstly and so that is what we can have and for the alignment we'll make it center aligned and now that we've got it we'll just get rid of the show path but before i get rid of the show path i'll show you something else so for the hover you can have a hover animation so i'll place in grow so that would give an effect like this but for the path guys you can do something like this so there's a stroke color and a normal color so for the normal color you can change it to anything so you can make it a black color and for the you know color of the stroke you can have it white and you can increase the width so so this is again something you can play with and you can just get rid of this uh, you know the text to get a circle like this so this again can be useful in you know different ways according to your imagination but i'll just talk about the seal of trust currently so so that is what you can create so this is again something you can just play around and get something unique out of it for the hover sections also you can change the color and the stroke color but uh, we'll we'll get rid of the path currently and this is what you have and so now we'll see how we can create the menu so for the menu we'll again uh, go ahead by taking a text path widget and I'll place the text path and again firstly we'll just change the color to white and for the content we'll place home so this would be uh, and so we'll place it a line and we'll give it a show path and again we'll make it center aligned so currently you can't see the center aligned because uh, this actually takes up the entire widget space so we'll change the style settings to get a better you know center aligned option so as for the size we'll reduce it a bit make it 300 and uh, so the starting point will increase it a bit so we'll make it around something around that so we'll make it 37 probably and for the text path we'll make the stroke color as white and it will increase the width a bit and we'll also give uh, some sort of hover animation so we'll make it shrink and probably increase the transition duration a bit okay so that looks nice so we'll just duplicate this now and we'll duplicate again so we'll have four menu options just like the preview so we'll have home we'll have uh, about us we'll have uh, services and we'll have a uh, contact us and we'll update that so guys that's it uh, you can create a symbol like this and you can come up with any other design of which are included with the text path widget and you can also create a menu like this and you can just link this so currently there are no links here so i'll just place a link so current i'll just place in hash so you'll get the idea but uh, you can place in any uh, link that is on your website or you can also link it to a different uh, you know third party website so uh, if you're linking it to a third party website uh, just beside the link icon there's a gear icon so you can just click on that and you can make it open in a new window so that way if it's going to a different website like a social page or something like that you can just open that in a new window so that is how we create a menu and a seal of trust like this with the help of the text widget uh, sorry the text path widget rather and uh, i'll just place in some you know margin at the bottom so probably something around 15 so that there's a bit of a gap and uh, so guys this works perfectly fine with the you know mobile version as well as you can see this is the mobile version uh, so you can also change the settings so i think this looks a bit smaller so we'll just increase the 
you know the the typography just increase the size a bit probably we'll make it 25 and for this as well we'll make it 25 so we'll change all this uh, font size to 25 that we have placed the links these are all clickable and you can take it to any link that you want so guys that is how you would create a menu and uh, see like this on your website with the help of the text path widget and uh, to make that happen the initial condition would be to make to have a you know, updated elementor that version of which would be 3.2.3 so guys if you have enjoyed watching the video and if you have learned something of value from this please consider subscribing to the channel and once you have subscribed do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified of all the upcoming videos and if you are going to use this in your next wordpress website project please consider spreading the smile by sharing this video thank you so much guys and i'll see you again in the next tutorial video